Hello Sirens Media, this is Keith Skrillo auditioning for the role of Travis Bremigan. What the hell happened here? Yeah, I'll tell you what, no matter how long I've been doing this for, these scenes, they never get any easier. What do we got here? Cell phone, keys. You talked to anybody around here yet? No? no. Hey, uh, you! Yeah, I'm talking to you. Come on over here, pal. You, uh, you see anything happen around here? You see anything going on today? No? So you got a dead body laying in the middle of the street. You haven't seen anything. How long you been home for? You've been home for three hours, but you haven't seen a damn thing. Let me tell you something, pal. You got something that comes to mind. Rings a bell, rattles your bones a little bit, you give me a call. You understand me? Name's Brennigan. Yeah, you do that. Jesus Christ. Brennigan. Hey, Miss LaFerrar, how are you? Oh yeah, I got plenty of time. What can I help you with? Really? You can come down to identify the body. What time would work for you? Four o'clock it is. And uh, Miss LaFerrar, I, I just want you to know I really appreciate what you're doing here. I know it's not going to be an easy thing for you. Okay. Well, looks like we're about to get the testimony we need. Comfortable there, sweetheart? <laughs> That's good. Well, a few questions I need to ask you right now. First off, who helped you move the body? Nobody. You really expect me to believe, what are you, a uh, hundred pounds soaking wet? You moved a grown man's body, and that man had to weigh 180, 185 pounds. And you expect me to believe that somehow on your own, you got him into the trunk of a car, transported the body to the location, moved the body out all by yourself, and managed to stage the crime scene. Listen, honey, I ain't buying it. Now, damn it, tell me what I need to know. Because I got all day and night. And right about now, sweetheart, you're running out of time. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state. Do you understand the words that I just read to you? Do you wish to speak to me at this time? Like I said, you will tell me what I want.